Nancy, what is programmatic? <laughs> Um, so programmatic is not the opposite, as as uh, as we've heard in, in the industry. Programmatic is not the opposite of um, premium. Programmatic is just automated um, buying, and um, what's exciting about it is that uh, that automated uh, level of buying um, is really enhanced by data and uh, audience data. So um, that's really what programmatic is. And um, it's funny because when you really dig down deep and you find out how many people are actually involved in understanding what programmatic is in the marketplace today and what are all the opportunities, it's a limited group. It's surprisingly a limited group of people. Um, that skill set. Uh, a lot of times is um, centered around um, managed services. Um, so uh, I'm going to hand off um, a certain amount of my allocation to um, a programmatic uh, partner, if you will, and they're going to do the best job possible against my objectives. And I think, again, that definitely misses the point. Um, because we haven't trained the people who are actually making that allocation to be any smarter about what the process is, what takes place. Um, and that's a critical component of really advancing um, just data and its application towards targeting um, going forward. Um, so that's what programmatic is. We are going to see probably more programmatic uh, across more channels as we um, see media evolve in the next couple of years. I'm frankly shocked at how fast it has moved and to what degree it's actually been executed. Um, and it's not just here in the United States, it's uh, more on a global basis. Um, so it's exciting. Um, I think there are too few people in the industry that really understand what's happening. Um, we have our own uh, trading desk here uh, at IMS. And um, we did that intentionally because we want everyone here that's actually involved in our team to truly understand the intricacies and the opportunities within programmatic. And we're using programmatic um, not just for uh, digital applications today. Between programmatic and cross-platform um, and the type of data that's being collected, do you think that there'll ever be a new standard metric that will enable us to look um, across platforms and use it as a new currency? Um, so I think I think there I think there there are two thoughts in, in the answer to that question. I think one that the industry will always want what I would uh, term to be uh, interim metrics. And interim metrics are things that are less interesting. Um, they're things like impressions. Uh, and then I think that what we're moving towards, uh, and we really believe in uh, at IMS, is business performance. And every business has its different set of metrics. So we believe in getting as close as absolutely possible to revenue and making sure that you have a healthy brand. Those are the things that we really live, in, live for every single day. And when you start to get close in to revenue, as close as you can possibly get, it makes the idea of impressions um, and view throughs, whatever it may be, um, slightly less interesting. So uh, I think that as an industry, little by little, we're moving in a space that's going to take us down the path towards really being a partner with clients. And I hope we get there because um, I think that that's what clients are looking for today. Um, and we, we certainly are focused on that uh, from an IMS perspective.